today I'm going to do a video on my Betty Bangs um, and how I cut them. So I did a video a year ago and I've recently changed how I trim them. So I hope you find this video helpful. I'll list all the tools as usual down below with links. And um, be sure to click the bell button to get notifications on my latest videos. I do retro and modern hair and makeup and also videos on my photography. So if you're interested in the shoots or in seeing my images, feel free to uh, click below, there's links. And thanks so much for joining me. We'll see you soon, bye-bye. Hey guys, so thanks for joining me. I'm gonna show you how I trim my Betty Bangs. Um, I did a video, I think, oh, a year ago on this, but you know, things change. And in this video, um, I'm going to take two layers. I did the bottom layer and then I did the top layer. Um, I just felt like it gave a sharper cut and a lot of people might be thinking, well, how can you see where you've cut? But you kind of can and you just even it out and that way you're not just taking scissors to a whole chunk of hair. You're kind of giving it that detailed kind of cut. So I also have my little mini um, flat iron and that's essential because I have wave in my hair, especially in the front. So I make sure that it's really flat, as flat as possible before I start trimming. I also section off my sides and for most people, the traditional Betty Bang overlaps over top. I don't like mine like that, so I pin back my sides. I don't like them cutting over just because of my hairline. But um, I do like it to be somewhat sectioned and even on the top. So I'm just sectioning it now and grabbing all the small pieces. Um, and I'm just going to comb that out. And then I'm going to take the small, tiny flat iron. It's by Conair. It's like 16 bucks. And I'm just going to separate two layers. I'm just using a double metal prong clip just to help separate my hair. Um, you can get those at any Sally store. This is actually a blowout clip that I got in a pack from them that was actually really good because that clip has grips on the on the inside and I got it in a, a hairbrush blowout set for five bucks that they were selling off during Christmas. It was actually a great deal. Anyway, so I'm just going to sprint or I'm spray very lightly with a little water to get it um, a little bit damp. And it's not so wet that I can't take my little mini flat iron and it's not going to burn it. It's just really light. I just want to uh, comb out any kind of frizz or kink. And I'm going to basically cut one layer. I'm going to trim it. And I'm just carefully sectioning it off, making sure I don't kind of cut too far. Um, so I'm just using a rat tail comb, as you see in the picture. But I've moved on, and I, I cut the first layer. And then now I'm, I cut the top layer. And I'm going in and just cleaning off the extra hair that gets on my face with a little makeup brush. That's a good little tip. Um, so as I can see, I did the first layer, and then I put a layer down, combed it out. Now I'm going to go in and trim that. So I just kind of press it down and very carefully and I go a little higher at the sides and longer in the middle. So I have a middle length point that I always have and I go by that. And I don't really worry if I'm super, super perfect. I just want the illusion that it's very clean cut and perfect. Otherwise you may drive yourself nuts and you may also cut way too much hair off. Hair also has body and movement and mine has a natural wave. So I'm very careful not to overcut and very carefully use that little mini iron. And then I'm going in with my makeup brush, just cleaning off that hair because it can get in your eyes and be super annoying. And I just keep combing down with my rat tail comb and trimming and making sure it's flat as possible. And the scissors, um, I got those from Sally's as well, and they are traditional professional hair cutting scissors. And I don't recommend using anything else but hair cutting scissors because you can really do some bad cuts in your hair. So you can see how I'm leveling it out and it's getting straighter and straighter and I'm just getting also rid of any kind of loose hair. And I'm just gonna make sure I grab all those loose ends. I'm gonna press down one more time and just trim and I just keep gently tilting up and making sure I keep the longest point in the middle and that it's even on both sides. And you just kind of have to guesstimate and really just look at it and measure. You can see by where it lands on your face. And I'm just matching my bottom layer to my top layer. And that gives a nice, crisp, clean cut, I find. And you're not cutting off chunks of hair. And then I always look at it the next day, too, because sometimes, you know, things change. And I make sure I blow it out 
and it's all the hair is gone and you can see it, it's it's working. So if you're not sure how to cut your Betty Bangs, this is just one of many ways. And this is how I do it and it works for me. And once again, I just constantly try to get that tiny little hairs out. Sometimes I use a blow dryer and sometimes I just use little makeup brushes. It just depends on what I'm doing. Because I'm sitting in front of the makeup table, um, I just find this easier right now. All right, and now I'm taking out the clips so you can see it in um, contrast with the longer hair pieces. It looks nice and clean. There you go. And I, here's the final picture. I just want to show you what it looks like. And this is with hair and makeup done. Um, this is, I've gone in and I did a wave on the, the middle of my hair. Hang on, it's just coming right now. I decided to do this little clip to show you the final look. I love this new wave that I've, uh, I'll post the video for this. I did a video on this. But you can see how the bangs look nice and clean and then the wave just kind of contrasts it. So this is how I do it. I hope you like the video. Thanks so much for joining me. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And see you next time. Bye-bye.